One of the things with Roa that um, you learn really, really quickly is there's now another set of brood symptoms. As beekeepers, you'll probably know, well, depending on where you are in Australia, you'll know about chalk brood, you'll know about sac brood virus, you'll know about European fowl brood, and you'll know about American fowl brood. And they all have kind of classical symptoms. What Varroa does, it produces another set of symptoms. They look a little bit like um, European fowl brood, but it just makes all that, that diagnosis of what disease your colony's got much more complicated. For New Zealand at least, and you can get it from the Equitec website, we've developed a pamphlet which covers all the bee diseases and the classical symptoms of how to identify them. Um, the one thing it doesn't have, of course, because it was done for a New Zealand audience, is European fowl brood. But uh, being Australians, um, except perhaps for Western Australia, you're probably already an expert in um, European fowl brood. But it has the classical um, symptoms for that associated with Varroa. Once you start to see these symptoms, however, they usually only occur with very high Varroa levels. And it's the first sign that your colony is in trouble, that if you don't do something very, very quickly, it's going to die on you. So, in summary, brood symptoms, a new set that, we're not, that you won't be used to, that come along with Varroa, and they're a good tell for determining whether your colony is in trouble, but you're going to have to learn them so you can tell them the difference between all the other things that happen inside a beehive.